Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use JNT5 with Maven and Gradle build tools. Also, we may be working on an existing application where some of the tests are already written using JNT4. So, we will take a look at how we can use JNT4 and JNT5 tests in the same application. Here, we have a new JNT5 Maven sample project where we are using Maven build tool and we are configuring JUnit 5. Here we used uh, Java 17 and we specified JUnit version as 5.9.2 and this is the latest version as of uh, recording. Now we have a bill of material for JUnit 5 so we configured JUnit bomb with 5.9.2 version so that uh, when we import any modules from JUnit 5 we don't need to specify the version number here. So right now, because it's a brand new project and we are going to uh, use JUnit 5 only, we don't need to include any other uh, dependencies. All we need to include is JUnit Jupyter dependency and we are good to start using JUnit 5. So uh, let us take a quick look at uh, the code we have. Uh, we have a simple person pozo with few properties and we have a person repository which is kind of an in-memory database like uh, implementation with basic crowd operations and the data is being stored in a, a map and then we have person service which uses a person repository and then we have the same basic uh, crowd operations implemented now let us see how we can write uh, tests using JUnit 5 so here we have uh, person service test and we are using before each callback method to initialize a person service uh, for person service we need person repository so we, ins we instantiated person repository and created a person service uh, instance then uh, we are using a test and then we are creating a new person and then we are using these assertions which are coming from JUnit Jupyter so we are using uh, asserting not null uh, once we create a person id should not be null and also we are asserting whether the name and email is uh, what we sent to create so nothing special uh, it's a usual a simple chain it does now from your id when you run it it's going to run fine okay cool however if you go to console and then try to run Maven test. So here you can see it did not identify JUnit 5 test. Now when we go back and open our uh, palm.xml here all we did is just adding the JUnit uh, 5 dependency but it is not identifying JUnit 5 dependencies, uh, JUnit 5 tests. So if you keenly notice right now, um, all the unit tests will be executed by using Maven Surefire plugin. And by default, it is using a, a little older version like 2.12.4. But if I remember correctly, JUnit 5 support is introduced uh, 2.22. So it is not able to recognize those JUnit 5 based tests. So what we can do, we can go and use a latest version of Maven Surefire plugin so that it will recognize those JUnit 5 tests and run them. So here now I have included the plugin Maven Surefire plugin and I am using a latest version. So now if I go back and then run Maven test. Now you can see it identified JUnit 5 based tests and are running. So most of the times if you are using uh, frameworks like Spring Boot and Quarkus or something, they might have already configured to use some latest version. So it might be uh, working already without having to declare any uh, specific Surefire plugin version. Right? But by any reason, if you are creating a new uh, Maven project without using all those frameworks. So just remember, if you are using JUnit 5 and your Maven build is not recognizing your JUnit 5 based tests, just make sure that you are using latest version of Maven Surefire plugin. Sometimes 
we may be working on an existing application where there are lots of uh, tests based on JUnit 4 and you want to use JUnit 5 going forward. So here JUnit 5 supports execution of JUnit 4 based tests as well. So all we need to do is earlier just uh, assume we are going to use JUnit 5 along with JUnit 4 based test as well. So here we have configured JUnit bomb just like earlier and then we have JUnit Jupyter to support JUnit 5 based test. Now in addition to that you need to add this JUnit Vintage Engine. So it is going to take care of executing those JUnit 4 based tests as well. So, and you ha you might have uh, existing dependency of JUnit 4 based version right now. We are uh, configuring this 4.13.2. So right now we have both JUnit 5 and JUnit 4 support, and we are using this JUnit uh, Vintage Engine so that it will execute not only JUnit 5 based tests, it is uh, it's also going to execute JUnit 4 based tests. So now uh, taking a look look at the code, we have simple echo service, simply it is returning some concatenated string and then we have a hello service simply saying hello. And now looking at this echo service test, we are using JUnit 4 here and then we are using JUnit 4 uh, annotation at before and at test. So these are coming from JUnit 4 library and we can run them and they are going to run fine and also if you take a look at greeting service test here we are using JUnit 5 API we are using uh, before each and test coming from JUnit 5 library and we can run these two as well also you can run from command line and it's going to identify uh, both the JUnit 4 and 5 based tests because we have added this plugin as well. Now an interesting thing is if you are using uh, IntelliJ you can configure your inspections so that it will give you a hint uh, to migrate your JUnit 4 based tests into JUnit 5. So if you go to preferences and go to editor and here inspections and if you search for JUnit 5 here JVM languages test frameworks here you can see JUnit 4 tests can be JUnit 5 so check this check mark apply it now if you go to JUnit 4 based test it is going to give you a warning saying that this can be written or converted into JUnit 5 tests you can simply click on this migrate to JUnit 5. Right now, if you notice, we are using JUnit 4 here. And here, if you click on migrate to 5, it will give you a preview of what are the changes it's going to perform. I'm clicking on do refactor. Now you can see all the annotations are replaced with JUnit 5 annotations. Okay. So this is how simply you can uh, convert your existing JUnit 4 tests into JUnit 5 using IntelliJ IDEA. Now let us take a look at how we can use JUnit 5 in a Gradle based project. So here we have a module JUnit 5 Gradle sample and if you take a look at build.gradle file here similar to Maven we are also using bill of material here and then we are importing uh, J, we are including JUnit Jupyter dependency as a test dependency. And then again similar to Maven by default uh, Gradle is not going to recognize uh, JUnit 5 based test. You need to include this use JUnit platform inside your test task. So with this it's going to identify JUnit 5 based tests as well and then run them. In addition to that, you can configure logging uh, for your test so that you can get more verbose output. Now let us take a look at uh, code and then run them. So again, we have the same uh, code and same test here and here also you can run. So it, it is working fine. Now if you go to console and you can run Gradle uh, test and 
here it will run uh, there is only one test and it executed successfully now just to uh, make it clear if you don't include this use jnit platform and if you run again gradle uh, wrapper test you can see it is not including uh, those tests it is not uh, considering jnit 5 based tests so you should always include this use jnit platform inside this test task cool right now if you take a look at our tests we are using assertions that are coming from jnit file library okay here we have assert not null assert true assert false so things like that there are uh, many assertions provided by jnit file library but they are kind of a very primitive so in the next video we are going to take a look at how we can use assert j uh, library assertions which are really nice and it uh, it's it provides a very feature rich assertions that we can use so stay tuned for the upcoming videos bye bye Thank you.